All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot this out, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And, um, <clears throat> Salakia. I'm going to entitle this video, um, probably uh more good news <laughs> more good news or more fired more fired more fired <laughs> um i don't know yet i'll see where the spirit leads me but um basically this lesson is going to be about um this art uh, this um video that popped up in my news feed man what a time to be alive man what a time to be alive uh 2023 the hopeful year where all the prophecies are fulfilled and man, it's looking like 2023 is going to be a hell of a year. You had the bank closures, um, starting with the Silicon uh, Valley Bank. I think there was another bank that uh, closed also. You had uh, Creepy Joe come and announce that he was going to, um, that the government, is, the government is going to basically back all the banks. You know, <laughs> everybody's going to get their money, allegedly. Which I don't know where they're gonna get this money from. I guess they're pulling it out of their asses. <laughs> they're just running up the goddamn um, the uh, the money machine, which we know they can do that because we're not using real money. You know, we're using funny money, and this bitch is just basic, basically one big Ponzi scheme, you know, a house of cards, and it's about to collapse. You know. <laughs> anyway, this place is through. They just constantly running up the debt clock. The debt clock is what, 31 trillion and counting? This place is through, circling the drain. CTD, this bitch is on life support, you know? I don't want to rot this out. How about Shimmy How Shy pull the plug on this bitch? <laughs> so, um, as you can see uh, from Reuters, right? One hour ago, it says Meta to cut 10,000 jobs. This is 10,000 more jobs because they already did a round of layoffs, right? And this is. Um, this is a reason why that Silicon Valley bank collapsed, you know, all these tech companies were doing layoffs. So it says meta to cut 10,000 jobs in second round of layoffs. More good news, more fired, more fired, more fired. And you ain't seen nothing yet. So it says Facebook parent meta platform said it would cut 10,000 jobs this year making it the first big tech company to announce a second round of mass layoffs as the industry braces for a deep economic downturn. So we're in beautiful times, man. Beautiful times for the hopeful elect. Horrific time for the rest of you that are bullshitting and playing games, man. Lollygagging, putting off the day of the Lord. That day's going to overtake you as a thief, you know? And you, and you, there's no cloak for your sins. This gospel has gone out to the four corners of the earth. We're constantly warning you. Broken records, man. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Salakia. So let's uh let's start with Isaiah 19 and 15. Broken records. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Modern day Egypt is America. Egypt meaning bondage. Okay. This place is spiritually. Sodom and Egypt, okay? Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. That goes with 2nd Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 16. That's the times that we're living in, okay? Ecclesiastes uh, 12, you know, I'm, I'm gonna read that too. Broken records. The grinding is gonna come to a screeching halt. Ultimately, it's all by design. The wicked elite have to collapse this current economy and they're going to usher in a new way of buying and selling, a digital system, all right? There's no, coincis no co coincidences, all right? All of a sudden, these these banks are collapsing. Meanwhile, they, they got the test pilot up for the CBDC, you know? So it says, neither shall there be any work 
for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or, or rush may do. That's the times that we're coming into. All right. Everything is coming to a screeching halt. All right. And you people going to be looking for answers. Right now, you got these uh, all these um, so-called economic advisors, all these so-called experts all throughout YouTube, you know, which we watch them, you know, you know, and um, but ultimately we filter everything through the scriptures, you know, you know, that's not our, 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 our end all be all. We're just using them, you know, it's a means to an end. It's, it's, it's a way to easily, to easier, um, convey this message to you, you know, cause we're not experts in, uh, in, in, so, in finances and so on and so forth. We're not experts in the stock market and the housing market. But we rely on these. We, we rely on these um, financial advisors, these so-called experts, and we 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 uh, we use what they're saying and we filter it through the scriptures, because ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word is going to stand. Okay. We already know what time it is. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told us what time it was. He declared the end from the beginning. All right. And the prophets. Starting with the apostles, the elder apostles of Great Millstone, on down all the teachers, the helps, the brothers. They've been warning you constantly. Okay? Matter of fact, let me let me let me uh hit Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets, she crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Hey, our elders, apostles, hey, starting with Elder Abba Bivens, who is Elijah, if you can receive it, you know, that's where he was, on the highways and the byways. And all the men that came after him, all the elders, all the apostles, all the teachers that came after him, they followed suit. They were out there in the chief place of concourse, on the highways and the byways. And all, and and we've we've entered into other men's labor, and we're doing the same thing. We go out there week and week out, and we warn you, okay, to what repent. So it says again, uh, Proverbs one and twenty. It says, "Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones? Because our people are simple." A, the scriptures liken our people, Yasharala, as what sottish children, stupid, hard-headed, impudent, you know? And it says, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Why? Because the evidence is overwhelming. The receipts are sky high. This truth is smacking you in your face left and right. Every which way you turn, you can see that something's not right. Something's afoot. You can see this place is through. These people are through. The economy's through, okay? But you refuse to repent. You refuse to take heed, two-thirds of you. But it is what it is. The blood is off our hands. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in the scorning, and they're scorning, and fools hate knowledge. That's, hey, because our people are fools, man. They hate knowledge. That's what Esau said. You want to you wanna hide anything from a nigga, put it in a book. Niggas don't read. Jake just want to be entertained, you know? So it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And how is he doing that? How is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai doing that? Through his men, his servants, the prophets, constantly warning you, okay? On the highways and the byways and on the internet highway, doing these video epistles, Okay? Day in and day out, week in and week out. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Yeah, you walk by us like you don't even see us, like we're invisible. You know? A lot of you watch the videos, you don't even you don't even leave a comment, you don't leave a thumbs up, you know? But it is what it is. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It says but ye, I said, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Yeah, you don't want to hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You, you don't want to hear America is coming to a screeching halt. 
You don't want to hear the fun and fun land is coming to a close. You know? <laughs> you want to hear smooth things. You want to hear a prosperity doctrine. Okay? You want to hear everything is going to be all right. But you're sadly mistaken. We're at the door of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. All hell is about to break loose. Evil times are on the horizon. Bad times. Daniel 12 and 1. A time like never before. You ain't seen nothing yet. So it says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Because you guys, you claim you love God. You're so blessed, you know. But you don't know God. Not the God of the Bible. Not the how about Shema how was shy. You know that white boy. That blue-eyed, blonde-eyed devil. Okay, you don't know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You don't know the God of the Bible. You know? Hey, the God of the Bible is a, is a so-called Negro, a so-called black man. And he's angry. And he's a man of war. And you're about to feel his indignation for your wickedness. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Yeah, right now the angels are holding back the four winds of destruction. But pretty soon, them winds are going to be let loose. And all manner of plagues are going to befall this place. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When your distress, when your distress and anguish cometh upon you when you can't find a job when you're laid off when when your bank account is empty you know you can't get you can't you, you, right now they're making runs on the bank but there's a there's going to be a time when you ain't the banks are going to be closed okay you're going to go to the grocery store it's going to be famine no groceries there's going to be diseases out there pestilences it's going to be race wars class wars sedition in the streets Okay, that's the time that we're coming into. Not to mention martial law, Esau, Edom, the devil is going to come down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. It's going to be FEMA camps set up, checkpoints. That's the reality of the situation. That's what that's what's coming. Okay. Not to mention the third's woe <clears throat> coming quickly. The third world's war. Okay, a draft is coming. You know evil times when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you then shall they call upon me but I will not answer they shall seek me early but they shall not find me for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge that's the whole duty of man to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai and keep his commandments to the best of our ability. Alright. Bringing our body into subjection. Repenting. It says. For, they, for, that they, for that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat. Of the fruit of their own way. <clears throat> Salakia. And be filled with their own devices. What you reap shall you sow. All right, what you sow shall you reap, Salaki. What you sow shall you reap. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And that's what we're hoping. All right, we're prisoners of hope. We're prisoners of Yahweh Shahim Ashiach. And we're given diligence to make our calling and election sure. Because we're going to need that thawa around us again, that hedge of protection. Okay? Because all hell is about to break loose. Okay? More good news. More more fired. More fired. More fired. You ain't seen nothing yet. More banks are going to collapse. You know? Evil times on the horizon. Isaiah 24, the main points in 11. The mirth of the tabrets ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. What is Babylon? The Hebrew word for Babylon is Babal, meaning confusion. America is Babylon the Great. All right? 
spiritually Sodom and Egypt and this place is through it's what broken down dilapidated it's on life support and it's through and the scriptures say I would have healed Babylon take balm for her right but there is no balm you know how Bashim Yahushai said come and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon there is no throne this place is through and Esau knows it and he's going to come down with great wrath it says the mirth of the tabret ceaseth the noise of them that rejoice endeth the joy of the harp ceaseth they shall not drink wine with a song strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up that no man may come in there is a crying for wine in the streets all joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone and that's the times that we're coming into because reality is setting in you know you know ends are starting to meet you know all hope is being lost you know hey what did they say the confidence in the banks are failing that's why there's run on banks all these people are trying to get their money out of the banks because the banks, they, there's no more confidence in the banks. There's no more confidence in this city, in this government, in America. Okay, this place is through. You people are through. Um, like we always bring out Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy, of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain, in the days in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, that's the main point that I wanted, and the grinders cease because there are few, few what? Few jobs. More fired, more fired, more good news, more layoffs, and you ain't seen nothing yet, more to come. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the window be dark, be darkened. <clears throat> Salakia, you gonna be stuck in the house if you have a home still, you know, waiting to be evicted, you know, <laughs> you know, because you can't, you lost your job, can't pay your car, waiting for your car to be repoed, you know, all hope, all hope, hope gone. You know, the Murph, as I said, the Murph is gone, you know, <laughs> you know, that's, a, you know, the evil times, reality is going to set in, you know, you ain't going to know what to do with yourself, you ain't going to know who to run to, you know, you're going to be looking for answers, you know, but you ain't going to find none, because your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to withdraw his men, your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to hide himself from two thirds of you, it says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. You ain't going to know what to do with yourself. And the doors shall be shut in the streets and the sound of the grinding is when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. That's the point. Evil times evil times are coming this is John 9 and 4 I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day the night come when no man the night cometh when no man can work that's hey, spiritually and physically you know that's spiritually and physically ain't gonna be no work out there physically okay you know and then on top of that spiritually Esau Edom's going to lock this truth down. He's going to demonize the men of the Lord. You know, that's the times that we're coming into. So now is the time to push, to give diligence, to fight. This is uh, Second Ezra. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to close out with that one. Ezekiel, I'm going to close out with Second Ezra 16. Uh, read the whole chapter. Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16. These are the times that we're coming into. Evil times. Ezekiel... 33 and the main point is in 33 but I'll start at 30 also thou son of man the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in, a, in and in the doors of the houses 
and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord Jehovah. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Again, and with broken records. From our apostles on down, we've been constantly warning you of the times that we're coming into. The time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the evil times, quickly approaching. Our redemption is nigh. The kingdom is nigh. But through great tribulation, through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. And it's going to be a time like never before. This is a uh, close out here. Adawan and Ratazada, this was edifying and exhorting and comforting. Okay? We're close, baby. We're close. More good news. More fired. More fired. More fired. More. More. <laughs> more. More collapses. More bank runs. More. More, baby. More. Second Ezra 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord out of one. They shall be like mad. He's going to demonize the men of the Lord. You know? You know? We're going to be public enemy number one. You know? Hey, Yahushai said some of us are going to be uh, thrown in, the, in, in a prison. Some of us are going to be uh, put to death. You know? But guess what? The dead in Yahushai shall rise first. You know? Fear none of them things. You know? For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord out of one. And you best believe Esau Edom been keeping tabs on, on, the, on the believers with his algorithms and his agents. They've been watching, you know, and they're going to they gonna make their move, you know, they're going to make a move, man, and try to round up and gather the prophets thinking he can upset prophecy, but he's sadly mistaken. Because like Yahweh Shem Shai said, when the enemy shall come in, the, come in like a flood, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to lift up that standard against his punk ass. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Especially the Medes, when they come over here, as the scriptures say, you know, they're not going to regard silver nor gold, you know. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Hey, ultimately, that's going to be the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai on these people, man, on these Gurga troops. These stormtroopers, you know, you know, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord out of one. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. You see? Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord Adawan, behold, the days of trouble, whose trouble? Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, the elect, you know? Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord Adawan, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. We're going to have to have major faith, big faith in them times, man. We're going to have to move Strictly off of faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. You know? We're going to have to have faith in the times to come. You know? Faith, the word faith goes into trust. We're going to trust Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And even if he slays us, as Job said, though he slay me, I shall keep my integrity. You know? We're gonna, we, hey, I don't want to rot this out. If we got to go out, we're going to go out boldly on our shield. You know? Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and a guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord out of one, Yahweh, your power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. 
And that's what we're doing. We're trying to offend as least as possible. You know? Trotting along the straight gate to the kingdom. All right? Hey, man, and the race is almost over, man. The race is almost over, baby. And remember, it's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. A thing of endurance. Enduring. You know? You know? Suffering. You know? But it's going to pay off at the end. It's going to pay off shortly. You know? Anyway, I don't want to write this out. This was edifying. Keep pushing, man. We're close. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babo. Kwam nasharallah.